Hello, this is Trey again. In this video, we'll be talking about how to deal with different tracks in Audacity. So as you can see, uh, like in any audio editing program, the tracks will be arranged vertically when you import multiple tracks into your file. Um, left and right um, is typically the situation here. So we have the, the top is left, the bottom is right, and then uh, once we go down, we have a different track. So this is the typical organization along the X axis being time. So you can arrange things based on the time that they come in and that they play simultaneously. In Audacity, as in any other program, you have the option to move different tracks in relation to the other tracks. In Audacity, this is the left and right arrow button up here. And once I click on that, if I click and hold and drag on any track, I can move it to whatever timestamp I think is appropriate. And you can use the uh, zoom out and zoom in features here. If you want to get to very fine grained um, timestamps, you can get to the tenth of the second and even finer uh, timestamps. But again, like I said during the presentations, you want to make this as easy as possible during post-production. So if you find yourself having to hunt for the hundredth of a second, then perhaps something has gone awry. So in this case, I can just click and drag and move this around, and that's great. Let's say, however, that I also want to split a clip. Let's say that I'm going to go back to the cursor icon. If I select a portion of my audio, Let's say that that portion of my audio would work very well for the introduction to my podcast, but the rest of that audio would work very well for the middle or the end. I can move those things around. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just say edit, say cut, and say edit, paste. And now what I have are two distinct segments. So if I click and drag one segment, it's going to move separately. The other segment will move independently. And so I can place these things wherever I want them. Now the caveat here is that you still have to keep the um, order in which the sounds occur in this track. If you wanted to have a little bit more flexibility, let's say that something that was said at the end of the track might work best at the beginning of your production, I go into Edit and I say Duplicate. What Duplicate does is creates a third track. I've just scrolled down. You can see this third track here in addition to my other two tracks. And I can move this anywhere I want. So I have an identical version of what I duplicated. This can really go anywhere. So I can move this at the beginning, at the end, etc. And that allows me the freedom to kind of uh, cut, rearrange, do whatever I want with my segments. And you might find the need to do that once you include uh, many voices in your podcasts. Um, so these programs are pretty flexible in terms of what you can do with uh, different tracks, moving them around, and so on. I'm going to also draw your attention to the left-hand side of the screen here. Uh, most programs have these options again, but this is unique to Audacity in terms of this interface. But we have uh, the volume options in terms of minus or negative here. So if I found that this track was recorded, for some reason, it was a little bit um, soft compared to the other tracks, I might increase the gain a little bit to balance it with what else is happening. And then you can also rename your tracks. So you can say name, say interview with Jenny Smith. And that's the name of the track there. And when you're playing the tracks back, you have the option to mute the track. So if I were to play back, if I didn't want to hear this, I won't hear it. If I wanted to solo this track, I'm only going to hear this track when I play it back. 